I'm Coyote Peterson. This morning we're exploring Tucson Mountain Park on the backside of Cat Mountain. The sun's just beginning to crest over the horizon, and this is the perfect time to find reptiles. Let's break trail into this and see what we can find. In my time exploring the great outdoors, I've encountered many snakes and have been fortunate enough to have my incredible crew with me to film several of these up-close experiences. Whoa, 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 stop. You got a rattle? From lightning quick species like sidewinders and pygmy rattlesnakes to aquatic rarities like the Lake Erie water snake. And the typical signs of aggression, he's trying to bite me right from the start. Each and every snake story is one to remember. You get that? Yeah. Look at my face, I got poop splattered all over my face. The real adrenaline rushing moments come with the potentially lethal species like the eastern diamondback and western diamondback rattlesnakes. Now while most of my encounters have been with average sized snakes, and in some cases, absolute giants. Sniffing me. Go up on my hat. Alright. What I don't usually come across are baby snakes. Also known as neonates, they are often perfectly camouflaged in their environments, making them nearly impossible to find. Unless, of course, you happen to look down at exactly the right moment. Alright guys, come here, check this out. Look at this. Ha! A tiny one. There's a baby western diamondback just coiled up underneath this rock trying to stay in the shade. Look at that, hold on, let me lift up this rock. Now, just because this is a baby doesn't mean it's any less dangerous. Still need to be just as careful. Oh, look at that. Look how cute he is. Wow. This is probably only a couple weeks old. Have you ever seen such a small little rattlesnake look at his little white tail? Look at that. He's only got one little button going on the end of his tail, but already he knows that defense sign. Shake that tail and tell people that he's venomous. Well, we were hoping for something a lot larger than this, but it's always cool to see any rattlesnake out here in the Sonoran Desert. See, he's just wanting to curl into the bush here. That gives him a little more confidence. He feels a little more protected when he's covered up like that. All right, let me see if I can get him up on the pass so we get a better look at him. All right, there we go. All right, up here. There we go, there we go. Now, oh, he just bit my snake stick. Did you see that? That snake's probably only a couple weeks old. Sure is cute, though. I know this is a baby western diamondback rattlesnake because of the black and white tail and these classic diamonds running across the length of the body. Now, this is one of the species I was hoping that we'd encounter out here in the Sonoran Desert. Not quite as big as we wanted, but you always got to appreciate a rattlesnake when you encounter it. I always like to make sure I put these animals right back where I found them. Pretty cool encountering a baby western diamondback rattlesnake. Get back up a little bit, we're gonna put them right back in that bush. Alright, off you go little guy. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.